Boy, you Brits take your train fines way too seriously. Demon, which will be released in the UK later on in 2021, but had premiered online at an Oscar-qualifying 31st Cinequest Film Festival at the end of March, and is directed by George Lewis Bartlett, who's making his feature film directorial debut, and is introducing Ryan Walker Edwards in his first feature role. And if this is his first feature role, I think he has a very fine future ahead of him. And I received this screener from Zerzet Song Film Company through GingerNutsOfHorror.com, which is a great website where you can go to check out a bunch of reviews and interviews of anything that is horror related books films tv shows a lot of critics and reviewers collaborate with the creator jim mcleod over there go check them out there's a lot of great stuff if you are interested in the horror genre and this movie is not a horror film it's more of a psychological thriller and even when i say thriller that doesn't even qualify this is just some psychological shit going down. When an unpaid train find comes back to haunt him, office worker Ralph flees London to a forest motel where a temporary hideout becomes a nightmarish purgatory. An emerging ghost of the past forces him to confront the loss of his father, taking viewers on a winding road that blurs the line of reality when one man tries to escape his problems but instead finds himself faced with more anguish. That's the official plot synopsis, and I'm glad I read it for you because... Again, this is, this is an art piece. This is independent, like, definition of indie filmmaking here. And when you get to that, sometimes the story, the plot, what's happening is not really spelled out for you, and you have to open your mind up for your own interpretation. For me, I was struggling with figuring out what is going on here. Poor little Ralph, he has all of these train fees that he hasn't paid, and apparently he's overdraft so far in his account that he can't have any more overdraft from the bank, so he just goes on the run. And apparently there's like a, a train cop who is hunting him down, which left me scratching my head because I mean, here in the States, if you have, like, unpaid parking tickets or something like that, they don't send cops or investigators out after you going to your home and arresting you. They will just send you a lot of notifications and destroy your credit if you do not pay them. But I guess over in the UK, if you have train fines, clap me irons, please. And of course, the big standout of this entire film, I mean, it's a one-man show. Ryan Walker Edwards, who is very intriguing and... When he's on screen, you're just sucked into him because he has, there's something in the eyes that makes you very inquisitive and you want to learn more about him, yet they're kind and very sympathetic. It's an interesting, fascinating performance. His character going on the run and then when he's at this motel trying to stay hidden because he's being tracked or thinks he's being tracked, feels like he's in some type of purgatory, somewhere between heaven and hell. So it left me guessing, is this character actually dead and this is him reliving all of the traumas and everything that has scarred him psychologically throughout his entire life because we have these really cool and interesting flashbacks to where a, a video recording like a, a home video of him as a child dealing with his mother telling him that his father has left or watching a recording of his father leave and how they share the same watch i really like that that little detail that directorial detail it's really cool those flashbacks recorded video cassettes are all in color, and then present day with Ryan Walker Edwards, everything is in black and white. Which again, definition of indie filmmaking. Now because I got this screener through Ginger Nuts of Horror, and because the film is called Demon, I was expecting a demon <laughs> to appear. But nope. Nothing like that at all. There is one tiny little jump scare that has something to do with a demon-esque thing. I'm not going to spoil it here because I want you to watch this movie. But that did give me a little jump scare. But other than that, this film is not scary. This is a character study. This is a psychological piece. At points, the playback speed is extremely slowed down to where the character is just jumping back in. Or do the next action. Or there's an actress outside the motel smoking a cigarette in dark lighting and silhouette and doing it very artistically. Indie filmmaking. Is it a film that I will go back to watch again and again and again? No. 
but it was a nice watch just kind of on a, on a one-time viewing. It showcases the effect that parents have on their children. We see glimpses of passive-aggressive racism, and we see a character just in desperate need of someone giving him a break and just constantly on the run, been on the run his entire life. Whether it's from the authorities, whether it's from his father, whether it's from his mother, or whether he's trying to run away from his best friend who has always been there for him. This character just has inner demons that he just needs to work through. Oh, it's the title. That's, that's the thing. There was one moment in here, I have to call it out because I just, I just picture the director shaking his head the entire time at what this actor did. The, the train investigator police person comes in, actually finds Ralph at the motel, comes in, and then he just quickly brings up the warrant or the bill that Ralph owns and he's, he's cheated out, so he's trying to show off his body. He's like, like a stage actor to the camera. Walker Edwards is over here, and he's standing pretty naturally. He's standing perpendicular to the camera. But here's this guy, and he has this bill, and he uses his downstage hand and flips it up. And his hand is right in front of his face. And then, like, a couple seconds later, he's like... This, delivering his lines. And I just picture the directing going, No, we need to see your face. If you're gonna put the paper up, do it down here, not all the way up here. Why are you doing that? And best part yet is that he does it again in like a minute. Again, he throws it up and it's, ah, and then it's, it's a little amateur acting moment that I just have to call out. I picked up on it right away. Maybe someone else won't notice it, but. Oh, it was it was a hilarious moment for me. I appreciate it. It brought me back to my undergrad intro to acting days. Oh god, I'm old. I'm gonna give Demon three out of five Blu-rays. Not exactly what I had in mind, but not bad. Alright everyone, now comes my favorite part of my videos where I randomly select which movie I'm gonna be watching next, so let's take a look. Not doing any screeners today, but from my own collection. Batman Return of the Cape Crusader. Another DC animated film. I'm, I'm, I'm scoring big this time. But this is the one where they go back to the 1960s and use the voices of Adam West and Burt Ward. God, I've only watched this once, but I do remember having a great time just rehearing those voices. I grew up on the 1960s Batman uh, TV show along with the Batman animated cartoon. When I was introduced to the Batman, those were my two things. I just, would just watch those all the time. One was like artistic perfection, and the other one was hokey as hell. I'll let you figure out which one is which. But we'll check that one out next time. If any of you have recommendations of films that you want me to review on here, you can leave a recommendation below this video, or go to my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my Twitter, leave your recommendation there, and if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and give you a shout on the channel. And if you want me to do your recommendation as quickly as I possibly can and bypass the whole random generator that I have here, you can make a PayPal donation on the main page of my YouTube channel. Any size donation will do, just attach your movie with the donation, and if I have access to it, I will watch it and publish my review of it as quickly as I possibly can. So everyone, usually at this point I say, have you seen Demon and what did you think about it? But this film is not even going to be released until later on this year. So when you do watch that, please let me know what you thought about it. And as always, if you like what you see here, if you like my take on movies, then hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. See you the next time I'm released my next movie review. So guys, I will see you next time with my review of Batman, the return of the Cape Crusader. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.